Okay, 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 we're going to get started. Can please all the eligible bachelors please stand in a straight line, please. Sorry, hi, sir, you at the back. When I, yeah, yeah, come cap. In the line, please. Are you single? Are you single? Are you single? In the line then, thanks. Thank you. and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your question and your scenarios and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it or you don't have to take it. Use it as advice. Take it, don't take it. It's all up to you. Your life, you do with it what you will. So if you want to send me your questions and scenarios, head over to at Kopana Shimange on Instagram and look for this picture right here and answer in that little pink box and let me know what question or scenario you'd like me to talk about in my next video. Now today I have a question from someone who says that she keeps meeting and dating the same nonsense guys nonsense you know my mother once told me in this world majority of the men getting nonsense basically nonsense stock of men nonsense 50 percent are ineligible because they're either married priests or gay then the rest of them about like 30 to 40 percent of them nonsense so i understand your problem there's a lot of the stock sometimes is just bad right so we have to look at how are we going to make sure that you meet some new guys now before i even give you tips and places for you to go to find new types of men i need to make sure that you can decipher that this side nonsense this side eligible good stock so in this video i'm going to give you just five different types of guys to stay away from now men come in different shapes and sizes but let's just deal with this five. If you can stay away from this five, then you have a potential of making it. The first type of guy that you want to stay away from, we'll call him the deal maker. This guy, you ask him, so what do you do? And he's just like, no, you know, I do this and that. If somebody needs something, I get it. You know, there's a lot of people, people deal make. No straight answer from these people. Even if a person is a freelancer, they will tell you what type of field of work they're in. But what deal maker? Not a straight answer in terms of what they do, what is it that they spend their time with. That guy's always looking slick. He's suave, silver tongue. He can speak up any situation. You can tell that this guy is in a lot of meetings in his life, right? He's always talking about money, but then you look at the deeper look into his life, you're just like, but where? Where's this money that you talk about? Where's this life that you talk about? You say you have this thing, but then as soon as you need to call on that thing, you first have to call that guy to give that the guy so that you can get it. Uh -uh. Mr. Deal Maker, the guy who's basically, I do deals. I do this deal, that deal, that deal. And can't really tell you what group of deals he's in, or at least a, a, a sector in the industry or something. That guy who's got the silver tongue, that guy who's always talking about something that he has, but never really does have it dodging and sometimes you know the things don't really add up you want to stay away from that guy now we've all run across these guys right they speak well they dress well they know how to communicate and talk to people never leave a party without making another business connection or a potential deal the reason why you want to stay away from this guy is that you're never really sure with this man you don't know about him right you don't know what you're letting yourself into. You may be getting into a relationship with a guy who's going to have a lot of snakes and skeletons in the closet. But deal maker, the ones who are never straight about what they're doing, there's lots of, lots and lots of people who are freelancers in this world. They know how to explain what they do and they are very honest about what they do. But there's others, but deal maker, that not really straight about what they do not always honest about what they have and what they don't have access to and they like to name drop a lot those guys you could be getting yourself into a relationship with a pretender number two is the flaker have you ever had the chocolate flake right when you when you when you break it it crumbles now there's a new age flake where they have a coat over it but the old one that we are used to it's nice and crumbly right as soon as you touch it it falls apart there's men who are like that you want that in a chocolate not in a man you want something steady when it comes to a man you don't want something that just breaks in a man 
right? So the flaker, this guy just flakes on you. He makes a plan with you saying, listen, on Thursday, 5 p.m., I'ma meet you, we're doing dinner. Comes to the time you all dressed up, got on to five, he's not coming anymore. He makes plans with you, doesn't pull through. He forgets to call you, he forgets to do things with you. Basically, he makes a plan or he makes a commitment, but when it comes to the time to fulfill on the plan or the commitment, he's always flopping on you. You, ah, this guy, Hasirasi. It's not serious, right? You want to stay away from this guy. You get emotionally invested in commitments and things that he plans for you and for the two of you to get together. But then when the time comes for that thing to happen, he either disappears, you call him and you can't get a hold of him, or he can't cancels last minute, or he's extremely late and tells you he forgot. Or he just replaces number four. He just replaces it with something else. You don't want to be with that guy. You want a guy who's going to be committed. If you're going to emotionally invest yourself, if you're going to spend an hour doing your makeup, doing your hair, getting dressed and all of those things, you want to know that the guy is actually going to come through at the end of it. Because then now you're not really seriously, not really sure if he says we're going out tonight, but is he going to come through? He says he's going to call me three days later. He calls you back. Mm, the flake guy. You don't want to be with a flake. Uh, he'll let you down it's just heartbreak number three this is very important for you to see this guy from the moment from the get-go honey because women we like to fix men we like to help men men have the superhero thing but us as well we like to give people sympathy so number three he can get under your skin very quickly you need to watch for this guy the victim the victim is a guy who's been through a lot of things in life. We've all been through our struggles in life. But this guy always has to be the victim. Every time something happens to him, he's late because someone else did this. He's broke because someone else did this. His clothes are torn because someone else did this. This person did this and that's why I'm in this situation. Oh my gosh, my life. Oh, it's so terrible. Everyone's mean to me. Everything happens and it's all bad. It's never my fault. It's always someone else's fault. True. Stay away from this guy. You may be drawn into him because the victim likes to have people feel sympathy for him. So he's very open about sharing his story. The one that will make you feel emotional, right? The one that will make you feel like, oh, I don't know, skip so. That guy, you'll be pulled into him because oh, sensitive. He's been through a bit, you know, so you just want to hug him. Stay away from this dude. They have narcissistic tendencies because everything's always about them and they are always the one who are done wrong and they're the ones who are always unlucky. You want to stay away from the victim because that mentality easily spreads. It's very, very contagious. You'll start to feel the same way too. Instead of taking accountability for your life and what is happening in your life, you'll start to see things from their point of view. You'll start to think that the world is the way that it is because it hates me. I am broke because the world hates me. I don't have this or I don't have that because the world hates me. I am unlucky. Things happen to me. No, you have the power, honey girl. You have the power. You are powerful. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. And if you get into a relationship with, a, with the victim, you will start to feel like the world is conspiring against you. And it is not. But there's that guy who loves to tell his story so people can feel sympathy for him. And if you fall, ah, it's very hard because now you're emotionally there and he's playing on your emotions. Stay away from the victim. So as soon as you see this guy who likes sharing his sad, soppy story, might work the first time, but if you see it the second time, uh -uh, you must see. Number four, you want to stay away from the mood. Now I know this may be confusing because a lot of the times when we say, oh, you're such a mood. It's somebody who sets the tone. You know, somebody who is just like, yo, when you are a party by yourself, when a party in a box. Mm, this guy is basically that guy who is hot today. Like he's in love, he's happy, he's going down, sunshine and roses, hormonite. Then tomorrow, this guy is just off. He's cold. It's not the same. Something's changed. Sim it down. 
the flames are gone it's cold it's not going down the mood is a guy who is hot today and cold tomorrow this guy on monday he's loving you he's sending you messages you guys are on the phone for a very long time you're laughing it's all good it's all great then tomorrow on tuesday it's cold he's giving you one word answers not in the mood to chat mm, he's fine something's changed why are we mellow that guy's confusing he's so confusing been there, done that, don't want to go there. You deserve more. You know what it is? It's emotional abuse. Because he takes you on a high when he's on a high, and then he's on a low when you're on a low, and he doesn't give a crap how you feel about it being on a low. It's not in the mood. He doesn't want to chat. Mm, it's fine. It's whatever. Stay away from this guy. It's too much emotional investment. I'll tell you what. When you're with a guy like this, then you're not the one. Because with somebody else, he will accommodate her moods. Because he loves her, right? But if you're not the one, he'll be on a low and you won't give a crap about how you feel about it. This guy is here today, down here tomorrow. He's in the mood today, not in the mood tomorrow. Things happen when he's in the mood. You have to follow his mood. Whatever mood he's in, you have to follow suit. Don't be with this guy. This guy will take you on a ride up and down roller coaster ride the whole time and it is exhausting it's emotional abuse you do not want to be with a guy where it's his mood he's up here today and down here tomorrow all the time you can't be on that yo-yo honey don't do that and number five the child now don't get the child confused with mama's boy. Mama's boy is a completely different thing because a lot of the time, mama's boys are very good lovers. They're very good people to get into relationships with. You just have to deal with the relationship with his mother. That is a completely different video. I'm talking about the child, right? Been here as well, done that, will never go back there again. The child is a man who has no need, no want, or no even desire to move forward in life he's got no ambitions for where he wants to go he doesn't care about responsibilities does he want to go into work today nah. the child is extremely unproductive doesn't want to do anything and doesn't want to go anywhere the child will suck you into the world of absolute nothingness there's a difference between the chilled guy and the child the chilled guy has a mission in life and his mission is to chill moving through it. The child, no mission, no plan, will never have a plan, no vision, nothing, or sharp, nothing is happening and he's fine with nothing happening in his life. You don't wanna be with this guy. He'll pull down your ambition and a lot of the times, the child is an enemy of progress. And what do you want, honey? You want to progress. Now those are just five different guys to stay away from and like i said this is a multi-layered question before you go out there and you look for a new type of man you need to know how to decipher between nonsense and potential right and these are just five different guys that land in the nonsense pile sometimes there's, there's a chance that one might jump out from nonsense pile but that's you know that's up to them but for you for your own sake for your emotions for your sanity for your heart for your bonus you just need to make sure that you stay away from these five different types of guys there's a long list of different types of nonsenses in the world but these five these five you can tell nice and easy look out for these five stay away now if you have met any of these five guys before or you know a few other types of guys that you need to stay away from comment down below and let me know i'd like to see what you have to say about it and maybe we'll get this conversation going now that's it from today i'm kopana shimange and this is how i do things Sometimes your confidence may take a knock and when it does it seems as though you're moving backwards in life Because you need confidence to move forward You need confidence to send that mail push that button to push publish to launch that business to stand up To live the experiences that you want to live for yourself Now if you feel as though you want to raise your confidence and you want to know how can I conquer my day and conquer my dreams? Then head over to kopanashimange.com and download my new ebook on the seven hacks to increasing your confidence today it's free download it